My dad was banging my mom's sister and I have a couple of cousin brothers to show for it. Yes, Florida. People who have actually had sex with a step relative, what was the aftermath? Hey bro, what's up, you excited for today's story time? I hope you are, because I'm pretty hyped. Do you boy Andrew a favor and hit that like button, and if you're feeling extra generous, then hit that subscribe button. If you do then I'll give you access to my Ferrari. Let's start these stories. Not me but my older brother. For years the story was he got the clap from this older woman who took his virginity. A month ago he told me the truth. He got the clap from our stepsister, who at one point tried to sleep with me too. Absolutely nothing. We were in our 20s when our parents got married. Got drunk one night years later, smashed, went about our business. We'd hook up every once in a while afterwards, but just kinda stopped. No fanfare, no drama, and we're still cool. Fun while it lasted, 10 tenths would hit again. Well we had sex two times, she got pregnant. We tried to work it out. It didn't go well. She left to a different state and then threatened to come get our daughter. I got a lawyer and filed for custody, she never responded and I won by default. I haven't heard from her since my daughter was 8 months old. That was over 4 years ago now. The girl I went to middle school with was impregnated by her stepbrother. She must have 12 or 13. I think he was 17 to 19. Childhood me thought she was trashy, but adult me knows she was groomed and taken advantage of. I think her parents more or less raised the kid as their own, and her role was more of a sister. Beak. So sad. Had a co-worker who was sleeping with his stepsister, both of them were already in college when their parents met and got married. Pretty sure it lasted a while, with them all living in the same house. Eventually got caught by one of the parents which ultimately led to the parents separating. My stepbrother is also my brother-in-law. He married my sister and they have two kids. This isn't a good story though, they were dating before our dad and his mom started dating. So we all met as adults, and I knew him originally as my sister's boyfriend, and then it got weird on paper cause our parents married. The girl I worked with had, in my opinion, a really weird situation. Her dad was dating a woman and she was dating the woman's son. All living under the same roof too. I believe they broke up and it got pretty toxic as they kept trying to make their step-sibling jealous by bringing home randoms to sleep with. Imagine explaining that one to the people you're bringing around. We were on a family holiday in Spain, and the apartment was quite small, so a few of us slept in the living room. I was almost asleep when I heard my older brother get a handjob from my stepsister, I had forgotten about the sounds until now, so thanks bro. I don't think they had sex maybe without me knowing, but I don't think there was any aftermath besides extreme awkwardness on my part for the rest of the holiday and a significant time afterwards. What about half-brother and half-sister? I have a buddy whose married mom cheated with a younger guy, and my friend was the result. When he was an adult, he fell in love with a gal who just happened to be the daughter of the younger guy who had married someone else and had this girl. My friend and this girl got married and had a kid, who died young, and then his wife unknown half-sister, died. This was about 15 years ago. My buddy's mom just told him this year that his wife was actually his half-sister. The mom knew the whole time and never said anything or tried to stop the wedding out of fear of destroying her own marriage. My husband's brother secretly dated their stepsister. Only my husband knew about it. Despite him telling his brother that it was a bad idea, he still pursued the relationship. They had to confess to the family because she unexpectedly got pregnant. Their mom was upset and disappointed, but said she'd support their decision to be in a relationship and start their own family. The father however, could not get on board and pressured his daughter to get an abortion and to end the relationship. They still ended up together and had the baby. A few years later, they both cheated on each other and ended the relationship. Family gatherings are super awkward with my husband's side of the family. Edit. I should add, when they became step-siblings, she was 10 and he was 13. They started dating when she was 23. My sister gave our stepbrother a blowjob on one end of our wrap-around couch, with our grandmother asleep on the other end. Spoiler alert. She woke up. 
we had some ducked up family dynamics. Edit, I've answered these in the comments, but for anyone who doesn't feel like scrolling. What happened when she woke up? My grandmom woke up mid-job, smacked my sister on the back of the head with her slipper, they sprung apart and ran away without saying a word, and the next morning everyone just acted like nothing ever happened. As far as I know, my grandmother never said a word about it to anyone. Where was I? I was in bed, sneakily reading Aragon and none the wiser, until my sister told me the next morning. I think these two instances perfectly encapsulate who we both were as a person lol, and still are tbh. My parents used to be step-siblings. My mom was 6, dad was 12 when my mom's mom married my dad's dad. My dad lived with his mom primarily though, and they never spent much time together. I think my grandparents were married for 6 to 10 years or something like that before they divorced. When my mom was about 20, dad was 26 and he asked her out. They've been married for like 35 years. The complicated bit is that I have an aunt that was born from the marriage of my maternal grandmother and paternal grandfather. So my parents share a half-sibling. But they're no longer step-siblings. Edit. Also, guys, there are plenty of other southern hillbilly ass states aside from Alabama, unless I'm missing a reference to something. That being said, every generation beneath my great-grandparents on both sides has been born and raised in California. Although funnily enough, my aunt did move to a southern state when she got married. I like to joke that she complicates the family tree so they kicked her out. The guy I knew, while we were both early teens, had a huge crush on a girl who was a close friend of his family, his parents were church friends with her parents. Then, her parents both died in a car accident, and his parents had agreed to adopt her, if such an incident were ever to occur. His mom was kinda weird and made him start calling her sister, and none of his family knew he was head over heels in love with this girl, or if they suspected a crush they pretended not to. What they for sure didn't know, because his parents would have disowned him, was that by high school, they were secretly banging almost every night. I lost touch with them during high school, and I want to know what ended up happening with them so badly it drives me crazy to think about. Edit. To the million people asking me to track them down now, I tried years ago, but literally the only thing I have to go off of is his name. We only hung out for a few years, and it was because my mom and his mom were work friends who hung out outside of work a lot during that time. I don't know what school he went to or what church they went to. I don't remember his school friends' names. I'm only about 70% sure I'm even remembering the girl's name correctly. The only avenue I could think of exploring is asking my mom what her former co-worker's name is, or if she remembers where they moved to, but that's a really weird question to bring up 15 years later, so I don't really plan on going that route. I just gave his name another search, but it's a fairly common name, and without more to go off of it's sort of impossible to find a match on social media. Sorry to disappoint. Our parents got remarried later in life when we were already grown adults. We're both only children so having siblings was a new experience for us, but we wanted it to work if only for the family's sake. In an effort to grow closer, we decided to go drinking one night, a few months, after we met for the first time. She ended up crashing at my place. I offered to take the couch and give her the bed, but she insisted we sleep together in that weird feet-to-head setup. My drunk ass promptly went to sleep. I woke up in the middle of the night to find us spooning, and me with a serious erection poking her ass. I froze. I didn't know how I got there, what was going on, or how I was going to get out of this gracefully. I had just decided to extricate myself slowly in the hopes that I didn't wake her when it happened. Wiggle wiggle. She started wiggling her ass against me. On instinct, I started bucking. Tap tap. Wiggle wiggle tap tap. There was only one way to go from there. We went out that night intending to become closer mission accomplished. We ducked a few times a week for five to six months before we both met other people. In that time we became very close, telling each other our fears, secrets, and generally being what you think of as brother and sister. Except for that other thing. Friends have remarked about how close we are, especially for how short a time it's been. Turns out, there's a shortcut for that. You'd think that would be the end of the story, but instead of going our separate ways with the new people in our lives, 
we ended up realizing we had fallen hard for each other. Now we are dating and trying to figure out how to tell our parents, family, and friends. Might not have that problem for too much longer though. The last time her dad came into the living room where we were hanging out well, first he knocked. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the story time? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more story times.